All right, we're here with three vintage Diaz pedals. Two are square faces from... Yeah, we got uh, 1994 Texas square face. And uh, a 1996. And then what's this? Face. And this, I believe, is a is a late 90s Texas Ranger. Okay, so that so the Texas Ranger is based on an old 60s treble boost. Correct. Which is the Richie Blackmore kind of sound. And Eric, then this... Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton. Who's that? Anyway... The uh, square faces, those are based on a improved fuzz face that he improved for Steve to revolve. Correct. Okay, let's hear some, uh, let's hear that treble booster, like some Richie Blackmore type stuff. So here, here's the clean tone. Oh, 1966 Super Reverb. Super Reverb. And then the Telecaster is the one and only Kelton Suede. Uh, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Much love and respect. He just recently it, passed away. He builds guitars for yeah, all the big Nashville guys, Johnny Highland, everybody else. Right, exactly. A very respected uh, guitar maker, and he'll be missed. Mm -hmm. So thanks. All right. So let's get some sounds. Uh, do some Richie Blackmore type stuff. That's so good. All right, hang on. What's going on? What are you doing with the volume knob? So I've got this rolled back, like maybe back to nine. So okay. if 10 is all the way up, it sounds like this. It's a very rock thick. Right. Okay. A little bit over, a little bit too much. Right? So it wouldn't work for that riff you just Not played. Not for that one. Man on Silver Mountain. Try it with on 10. Just, just look at it. Sounds good. That's really good, but it you like good. it a little twangier. A little bit more twangier. So you back off. So yeah. just, just the hair. Look now at do that. it again. It's like that. Okay. okay. So just to where the buzz goes Eight down. Percent. Without the pedal. Oh, yeah. Good tone, but not for that riff. Right. Let's try the other, uh, the uh, blue ones, the square faces. Okay, so here's the square face. This is the... Wait, that one's back on. This is the 1996 96 Texas square Texas face. Texas square face. So big sounding. Right, so it's very wooly if it's on 10. Okay, right? so that was on 10. Now you back off a little bit? Right, so okay. on 10, it's like... Almost like one point. So grunge almost. Very grungy. All right. So that really sounds good. To me, it is twangy because it's a telly. C can that setting work for clean, almost country picking? Oh, sure. So back out that. That's almost like a Joe Walsh tone. Yeah, it is. It is, isn't it? Okay, so when you go back to 10, it gets really dark really and wooly. Wooly, wooly bully. But just a little bit back. But it immediately... Just right so, there, listen So back. you're going for that on funk 10. tone. It goes on 10. Okay, so on and 10, it's really dark. Back like maybe 9. 9. Not, oh, like 8 and a half. So that's the amazing thing about these pedals. Is that it goes from super wooly, Hendrixy, dirty, grindy, like you were playing grunge, mm -hmm. and it was perfect. But then as you're rolling, you're listening for where it gets twangy almost, mm -hmm. and then there it is. I'm, I'm listening for more articulation is what I'm looking for. Okay, so those were designed for Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna get to some SRV riffs in a minute. Let's do, let's do some grungy stuff. Can sure. can you uh, like 